We established Tarry Sheep Cheeses in 2005 and it's been just, it, it started as a hobby um, and then it just kept growing. Uh, one of my daughters is involved in the business as well, Dallas, so it's, um, it, yes, it's, it's growing all the time. Regionality are here and they're doing a masterclass for farm to plate. Uh, Rose and her team from Regionality have, have done a great job and it, it's great that it's in the scenic rim this year. Uh, she's, a very, she's a great ambassador for that sort of thing. So the benefit of opening up our farm to the public for agritourism is definitely to educate people. It's a very unique industry that we're in. Um, there's not many sheep dairies. You'd have to be crazy to milk a sheep. You only get a litre from a sheep. <laughs> But we love it, um, especially educating young people as well, because I mean, there's just so much to do and see in the scenic room in general. So it's great to be a part of that. People come here, they see a milking demonstration. Um, then they go in for a cheese tasting. They can buy local produce from our shop. And of course, pat our sheep, which includes Hercules, our award-winning racing sheep, because we do sheep races for Melbourne Cup. <laughs> Uh, we started off with a, a shed which we brought over from our turf farm and my husband said to me, oh there's, there's a shed for your sheep. So by the time it got erected, which took nearly 12 months, uh, it was obviously a bigger shed than just a little hobby shed. So uh, then I had to start doing a, a budget and a business plan and uh, for the cheeses because I was really only intended making them as a hobby. I've always loved entertaining, so that, that was sort of always part of, um, of how it's grown. And my daughter's the same, she's, she's done interior decorating and she's a production designer and, and we, just, we just love having things pretty. We also have a Kevy. Now, Kevy's not my husband, he's one of our handymen. And he does, um, he do, anything I say, oh Kevin, we need a new shed for something and he'll go oh, okay so and, and goes ahead and builds it so we're very lucky um, as far as you know, that sort of thing. Uh, we've just started weddings uh, we had our first wedding last week for a hundred people and we want to continue that. Uh, it will also allow me to step back a little bit from cheese making um, and then and Dallas can uh, promote the, the weddings and, and functions a lot more. We also have a beautiful old timber stables and we will start um, glamping in that in June. So, mm. Oh, 10 years. Um, definitely still here, hopefully. <laughs> um, we'd be doing probably more weddings as well. I'd like to think we're also doing um, a few more sort of education-based camps as well. Um, I would love to have kids on site, do agricultural workshops, things like that. So yeah, because after all they're the future, so we've got to educate. So the team at Regionality are fantastic because they bring us all together as well as a farming community. We get to know each other, we get to grow from each other, and at the end of the day we get to develop our craft and make sure we just keep innovating. So if you're in the Scenic Rim, check us out on Instagram or on our website www.tarrysheepcheeses.com.au and we're open on the first Saturday of every month. Bookings are central. <laughs>